What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we're here with my Rivian R1T and we're actually installing a rough country bed extender. So that way you can have your Rivian bed that's only four and a half feet and actually extend it in an enclosed-ish space and have it be a lot more useful. So this is gonna be install and kind of just overview of the product. So here we have it, we're gonna be installing it. This is a pre-production unit that Rough Country sent me. Um, they don't have an exact timeline on availability, but here you can see what it's going to look like. If you're not familiar with what a bed extender is, basically it swings up and down, um, can help you organize once you're, or once it's in the bed, and then it swings out to sit on the tailgate, so that way you can put stuff here and it doesn't slide out or anything like that. Um, but we have the product, and it looks like we start by looking over the list i already did that i have all the tools um, nothing too crazy you really only need to supply some basic stuff so drill bit is really the only thing that's slightly weird that you might not have for some reason center punch i don't think is necessary um but i'll make something work if i need to but we're going to start with just assembling some things and taking all of this out of the box you don't want to lose the templates so i'm going to set those under the drill bits here so they don't blow away and just in case we get a gust of wind but let's unbox it uh, and start the assembly. All right, so let's just go over the parts here. So we have two different sets of bar holders. I'll best describe them as. So this is part two is my understanding. So we have part two here. So we're gonna disassemble that first uh, because that's what's gonna be clamping on these ends. And then we have part four, I believe. Um, or sorry, part four, the curved bars are these here. And then we're gonna put on the strap with the buckles. So those are over here. These are in this little box. They actually give you the drill bit, but I actually don't have a normal drill. Uh, I probably have one somewhere, but not handy. I only have a hex drive, so I'm gonna use my own drill bits that have a hex drive on them. Uh, here we have the self-tapping screws, and these are the actual latches that we're gonna be screwing on over here. And then we have the template right here for actually drilling. We're gonna be drilling three holes on either side of the bed. But first we have to kind of assemble the general assembly here. And then we move on, if I can turn the page here. And I am struggling, there we go. So then we're just gonna have to mark the spots. These are pretty generic instructions, unfortunately. So I think uh, Rough Country will improve these, make them a little bit more Rivian specific uh, when they bring this to market, but we'll power through. There are lots of good pictures, so nothing too crazy. Um, and it looks relatively simple to install. All right, so we've opened these up. So it's just a single uh, uh, hex screw here. So it's, um doesn't tell me the size, but they include the key, so it doesn't really matter. That's probably what, 10 millimeter, who knows? But anyway, uh, we're going to line these up. So we're gonna line these holes with these holes here because it's actually gonna go like this, but all three of them stack together, of course. So we're assembling this end on the bedside. And we're doing that twice, um, they're gonna be mirrored. So I'll get back to you in just a minute after I'm done with that and assembling it. And then here's the screws and the nuts that we'll be using to assemble these. All right, well, we've got these two assembled. So definitely as you're doing this, make sure that you end up with the mounting point or what do they call it? The pivot on the outside. You got on the outside on both of these and now we're going to uh, kind of link it all up using those bars there. And they actually are slightly bigger, I believe, because they'll just clamp everything together. That's what these are for as well, to hold it all together. Um, so we have to slide on the straps first. So let's not forget to do that. So those go on the middle ones. And then we just slide the straight tubes like that. And then, yeah, struggling at turning pages today. And then I guess we do the pivots and then we uh, assemble everything together with the um, adjustments. So it seems like the mounting bracket is not 100% set for Rivian. So that's some feedback I'll give to them hopefully before they bring it to mass market, um, they'll get that corrected. But one thing I wanted to point out as I'm just assembling this so I can line everything up. If you look here, you'll notice on the right side, the opening is actually slightly smaller. 
So that correlates with these bars here because they're slightly thinner than these because this slides into that. So definitely pay attention to that as you're putting these on because they will only go one way. All right, so I've slightly modified this after checking out some alignments. So if I had done it where they want it with the truck bed, it would have actually overlapped with the racks there. Um, but I ended up just folding the sheet to full size and that seems to be good. I loosely uh, attach these, just put two screws in each. But you can see that when that's there roughly, that that's gonna be pretty level and should be good. And we've drilled the holes, uh, only slightly daunting, but no big deal. Let's see if these uh, align without dropping it, ideally. So you want it facing backwards like that. Let's see, where else? So it looks like they do align, so that's always good. So we're gonna go ahead and mount these. We do have to take off this little rubber piece uh, and the pin, no big deal there. And then we're using the screws from in here. They do give you two of the new rubber thingies as well. Um, Actually, those are not the right screws. I think they're these ones here. So we'll use these screws that are in with the extra little rubber feet. Well, we've got the little brackets mounted, nice and secure. Definitely be careful as you're tightening these because you are screened to plastic, pretty sturdy plastic, but plastic nonetheless, un unlike uh, a lot of trucks that you'd be drilling into metal. So I'm gonna install it first. That way I can get the length adjusted perfectly before I fully tighten it down. So there you can kind of see what it looks like. I don't have the little, uh, rubber pieces in or the pins that actually secure it in yet, but you can see how it's mounted. Um, looks pretty darn good. I maybe went very slightly high because it's tilted slightly down, but really not a huge deal. It's totally fine. Uh, here's the little straps of those you'd probably attach to here uh, when you're actually using it, but I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the screws in because I only put two on each side for now. Um, is important to note, you definitely want to have the rough country thing over here facing out in the middle is my preference. I don't know what, if there's an official recommendation. Um, and then you can see how it flips like this. So the rough country on that side actually becomes right side up when it's flipped over. And let's just go ahead and tighten those. Do you want the screws on the inside, I think for aesthetics, uh, not 100% sure if there's an official recommendation, but that's my recommendation. And you of course have the little rubber feet on both sides. So when you flip it over, it still is nice, so. Tighten it down, put the thingies, clean up, I'll show you the final result. So here we have it all cleaned up. Uh, let's go ahead and install it. I just have it sitting here. A little gonna be a little tricky here with one hand. We'll set it like that. We'll get it like that. Get a nice little uh, wedge like that. We're gonna flip it over so that I can actually uh, access the pins. And you're gonna drop that there like that. And over here, so you're doing this with me for the first time. So I think I do the pin first, I believe. I don't know if it matters which way these go. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that and then put the rubber cover over just like that. I think that's correct. Do the same over on this side. Ones to uh, go. There we go. Same thing, a little cover. Just like that. There we have it. And then let's just shut the tonneau so you guys can see how that is. But you can see this is nice and secure, not going anywhere. And I certainly hope it clears the tonneau. Looks like it will. Yep, certainly. and we'll open it up and then we'll flip it out. You can see my tunnel does still work, which is good. And let's go ahead and flip this over. Pretty easy. If you have long, ar long arms like me anyway. We'll go ahead and uh, attach this. I guess you could put it on the cables or wherever, but basically just intended so it doesn't flop around. Just like that. There we have it, we have a bed extender. So let's shut the tunnel so you can see what that looks like. And I suppose if you wanted, you could put a net over this or even a bungee cord or something, but this is not going anywhere, nice and secure. 
just like that, we've got a full bed extender. So if you had a dirt bike or something, it's not going to slide out um, or just really anything as long as it's small enough that it's not going to go through these sides or anything like that. And let's just put it back into storage position because I uh, don't need it at the moment. I can uh, do this one-handed with my left hand, of course, just like that. I will say that unfortunately it makes these uh, hooks unusable, uh, both when it's open and when it's closed, but in theory you don't really need them as much. But you can actually just remove this pretty easily and then use those again. So you just pull the pin, take out the little rubber cap, uh, and then you can just lift it out, put it in your garage, whatever you want. Just like that. So that is back in place, but you can see how the hooks are restricted. I guess very slightly you can access them still. Close that up. Close this. And then we'll wrap this video up. Well, as I mentioned, um, pretty useful product. I don't have a use for it at this exact moment. Uh, and my truck is actually going away pretty soon here, so I'm not sure I'll get a full use out of it, but pretty clever product, very easy install. Not sure what the price is going to be, not sure when exactly it's going to be available, but my recommendation would be to take a look on Rough Country's website. Um, I believe they have some distributors, but thank you to Rough Country for sending this out to me. Uh, easy install, I'll give you guys some feedback on some things to improve, uh, kind of as I mentioned in the video but overall quite pleased with it. Anyway, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.